Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, been a couple of weeks, well, it's been about two weeks since I posted. Um, things got a little busy and I forgot, so, so sue me. Um, I've read a couple, couple few books and they're one, two, three. Most of most all of these are ebooks, so I don't have anything to show you. Um, but I'll tell you about them anyway. So the first one is called Rosie, and it's by Bill Whiting. I gave this book three stars. It's about a man who his wife dies. Um, she dies, and prior to her death, she. Um, asked a friend to bring a dog to her husband whose name she named the dog Rosie and her husband is completely against dogs he doesn't want dogs he doesn't like dogs they're too much work and um, he agrees to keep the dog for three days well after those three days he says well I'll keep the dog for a week well, after that week, he's <clears throat> he's attached, and he he says, "No, I'm keeping this dog." So, it the book is about um, his journey with this dog, of learning to love this dog, and the dog becoming his companion. And it's such a sweet book. It's a really good book. I highly recommend it. And I gave it three stars. The next book was Destroying Their God by Wallace Jeffs. Uh, anything dealing with the Jeffs family and the FLDS, I find fascinating, so I will read it. Um, this was, Wallace Jeffs was, um, the, I believe, the brother of the one who got arrested and put in jail for marrying the minor. Um, but this book was basically about how this man was raised in the FLDS um, and he ended up getting booted out. And it was about him trying to get his kids back um, a very good book, very in engaging, um, fast pace, had no trouble holding my attention whatsoever. I highly recommend it. Uh, very informative about the FLDS, uh, and the fact that, um, not all of the people in the FLDS are for plural marriage. Um, and the reasons that they do get married or have plural marriage um, is not exactly what, what a lot of people think. Um, so it's very informative. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. It's four stars. And the third book I read <clears throat> was Jacoby by William Ritter. This book was okay it was i listened to it on audio and it was about he's an investigator and he's investigating supernatural type things um i didn't find it all that great i didn't hate it um it was okay. It was okay. Not really anything great to talk about. Um, I did give it three stars um, because while I listened to it, it did keep my attention. And um, I did find it entertaining while I was listening to it. So, um, it's one of those books where, you know, if someone brings it up, hey, should I read Jacoby? Yeah, go ahead. Um, 
The next one is Mind on Fire by Suzanne Cahalan. This one I also listened to on audio. And it's about a woman who basically loses her mind, literally. She <clears throat> starts having these fits at work that don't make sense. Um, screaming out at things. Um, she starts visually seeing things. And they start thinking she's schizophrenic. Um, and in fact, at one point, I believe she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Um, come to find out she had some sort of a autoimmune disorder where her body was fighting her brain as a um, foreign object. So it was eating at her brain. Um, and at the time that she got it, <clears throat> there was only like 217 people in the world that had it. So it was pre it's pretty rare. At that point, it was pretty rare. So um, it was very informative, very detailed. It follows her journey through this, um, finding out what she had and her experience with it. So I highly recommend this book as well. I gave it four stars. Um, at some points, it's very entertaining because she's um, she's telling it from her perspective, from her losing her mindset uh, perspective where things are not normal. Um, but it's a very good book. Very good book. And the last one that I read so far this month is Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Alinder. Um, <clears throat> this book is a very good book. I highly recommend it. It's uh, two sisters, the youngest uh, becomes possessed um, and is trying to destroy the older sister. Uh, the older sister ends up figuring it out, what's wrong with the littler sister, um, and has to save the day, basically. Um, really good book. I read it in about a day and a half. Um, pick it up. There's a sequel that I'm going to read and, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's over the bookcase, but, um, pick this up. It's a, it's a little spooky at times, but it's pretty good. So, that's what, one, two, three, four, five books in two weeks that I missed putting up. And so I, I'm caught up and I'm so sorry that I missed out. Um, I will try to do better. Um, but we all know that I'm not that great at keeping with it every week, but we'll do better. I'll try. So... Anyway, you see Lucy's not in her spot today. She's down there eating right now. So, anyway, until next time, uh, have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye!